Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm DJ Sixsmith. Welcome to Sit Down. Bethany Hughes here with us. Greek Island Odyssey on the Smithsonian Channel tonight. It looks fascinating. Bethany, really nice to meet you. How's everything going? It's good. Yeah, lovely to see you. I'm I'm sitting in a rainy, grey London, so it's very nice even to be talking about Greek Island Odyssey and remembering that kind of glittering sea and sun and sky. Honestly, I think this comes out at the perfect time because people aren't traveling. People are going to be home for a long time and Greek islands are just absolutely beautiful. You went on this amazing journey. How did this all come together and what was it like for you? Well, it was, as you say, it was an amazing journey. It was a kind of, we overuse that phrase, a journey of a lifetime, but it really did feel a bit like that. So it was this epic adventure. And I had this kind of mad idea that it would be really interesting to follow the Greek hero Odysseus on his trail from what is modern day Turkey through to the west of Greece. He took 10 years to do that, <laughs> one tiny little wooden boat. I took six months, so it wasn't quite 10 years, but we did try and do it kind of for real. So I was on 27 different boats, 1700 miles. I went to 13 different islands. And it was to try to work out why his story matters, why these big myths and legends still kind of play out in all our lives, but also to unravel some of the secrets of, the, of history. I went to a lot of archeological sites and digs um, on, on route. So to try to find the kind of kernels of truth um, behind these these big myths and legends. What were some of those kernels of truth? Because, you know, people have read Homer in school and they know about the mythology, but what are some little kernels of truth that really stuck out to you? Well, I think, you know, little things, like we went to this island where famously Odysseus went and got really drunk on local wine, and somehow we managed to get really drunk on the local wine. <laughs> you know it was made in the way that they made it centuries ago and that was that was fascinating and then to go to sites where we i mean i was so lucky where we saw warriors who'd been buried in this incredible gold and as we were there the gold was coming up out of the earth and you looked at that and you thought you know if you imagine those men in their heyday they would have to become legends sort of dressed like that with all the, this armor darker things like we were on the island of crete and we were looking at a site where there'd clearly been human sacrifice of this young girl, which again is, you know, you hear a lot about stories of princesses being sacrificed to, to keep the gods on side. So those are the kind of little things that felt as though they were the kernels, of real historical truth, but also kind of bigger, bigger ideas. So, you know, what I learned, I mean, it was quite, it was quite an adventure, you know, we got stuck in two storms with yeah. waves and killer bees and earthquakes and you know it was all it was all going on but we survived because as this tiny little team like a kind of ship's crew we collaborated and we helped one another out and for me that was the really big lesson that that is kind of what the odyssey is all about it's about being in the world unexpected challenges and dangers being thrown at you but if you if you help one another out you you will get through it there's a chance that you'll get through it together so that was the sort of almost like big philosophical truth that, that I took away from the adventure yeah it wouldn't be an odyssey without some challenges without some crazy weather so what was the scariest part of the entire trip I mean there were storms there was an earthquake like when were you freaking out the most here well I think I think the earthquake I could handle, the storm, the storm was pretty mega. So we were on this stretch of water for seven hours at night um, with 90 kilometer a mile an hour uh, winds that we weren't expecting. The boat was literally vertical like that. The only people who weren't being sick in the boat were me and the cameraman. So even the ship's crew were <laughs> throwing up over the side. And I did think then I'm not sure we're gonna make it to the end of the journey. But what was incredible that stretch of water is written about by Homer. He says it's one of the most dangerous stretches of water and the water churns like a crowd, you know, whipped up by a demagogue. But through that night journey, there were dolphins who were traveling with us every inch of the way. So there was, it was very beautiful, frightening, but very beautiful because you just felt they were, they were definitely, you know, charting our course and sticking with us to, to check we were all right. So, so it was, um, yeah, you know, I've definitely used that one of my nine lives on that. But I also feel, you know, I feel, I know what it was like to be Odysseus now. Yeah. <laughs> be Absolutely. That's really awesome. So I feel like this show will bring in, you know, historical buffs like you, people who just want to escape. What are some things that people can learn when they check this out? Whether they, you know, they know about the Greek mythology, they, they've read the Odyssey, they don't know anything. What's most important to learn here? 
Yeah, well, I think that's right. I think whether you know it or not, I mean, most people have heard of the story of Atlantis. I reckon we definitely find the lost city of Atlantis and this, this huge volcano that erupted three and a half thousand years ago. So we find the kind of truth of legends. I also just hope people will re- like have a good time doing the journey with us because, you know, as I said, it was 1700 miles. It's all under this beautiful Mediterranean sun on this beautiful blue sea when it's, when it's not stormy. And it's just kind of getting into the heart and soul of other people, whether they were historical figures who come from thousands of years ago, or whether they're just those traditional Greek islanders whose lifestyles often haven't really changed that much over the centuries. So it's kind of escaping into other worlds of history and, you know, escapist in in hopefully it's, it's a pleasurable journey for people too. I think it most certainly will be. Really excited to check this out. Bethany, really nice to meet you. Thanks so much for jumping on and we'll talk to you down the road, all right? You're lovely. Lovely to see you. Enjoy. Be safe. Take care.